Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and as well Virgo Rising. Monthly Tower reading, September 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the Tower cards. And we're going to jump uh, right into it. So the first card which stands for the topic of your month is going to be, or the, the general theme there is going to be the Tree of Pentacles, followed by the peripheral activities that you can go for here should you decide that it is worth the hassle, that is going to be the Tower card. Afterwards we do have the challenges that you need to overcome, that will be uh, the Hangman, now that all that thing makes sense. Afterwards it is the positive aspect, and that will be the Two of Swords. And in the last one that stands here for the guidance the Tower is offering to you, this is going to be the Two of Wands. Oh my! So, um, uh, this month you are to be set into your right path. Because up until now, uh, it looks like that um, you are either doing something wrong, okay? Or you are going for the wrong thing. Think that everybody else sees that it's not gonna make you happy, okay? It's not gonna make you successful and it's a baffling why, why, why you're going for it. So some people which are really having you there to their hearts uh, will try everything they can, you know, to talk you out of it, to make you see the truth, if you wanna say it that way, to set you on your path, on your right path. But before we go into it, and see how this thing plays out. Um, let's run the cards one more time. So, Tree of Pentacles, it is the uh, general topic, the theme there uh, for the month of September, followed, followed by the peripheral activities, which is the Tower card. Afterwards, we do have the, the challenges that you need to overcome here. This is going to be the uh, Hangman. Afterwards, it is the Two of Swords, which stands for the positive aspect. And then the final one, uh, that will be the Two of Wands, which stands for the uh, guidance that Tower is offering to you, Virgo. So, Three of Pentacles. Well, Three of Pentacles uh, stands for um, <clears throat> fruitful co cooperations and as well discussions. But those discussions are going to be rather uh, harsh on you. It is because you are to get a lot of criticism why you are doing such thing or how you are doing such thing. For example, <clears throat> you want to go, I don't know, you want to go to travel while in the same time you do have a lot of things to attend to, all right? And everybody else is trying to talk you out of it because you do have to do many, many things. And uh, the good thing with the Tree of Pentacles is that People are willing to help you. They are willing to support you through the development of those things. But you, but instead of that, you know, uh, I don't want to say that you are ignorant or anything, you know. Maybe your yearning and your desires are talking here. 
okay but for one or another reason you don't want to up until this point at least you know consider that what those people were telling you for example your family co-workers you know friends maybe your partner as well uh, in life you don't want to consider what they are telling you to be true okay or to be um to be productive i would say the accompanied card here is going to be the nine of uh, cups the formation it is a uh, passive friends that we do have so um well the nine of cups is just consolidating on the three of pentacles here points that these uh cooperations and these these conversations as well you know that support that you are to receive should you decide to listen that's very important we will allow you to traverse a short-term happiness or a short-term sense of security into a, a long-lasting one okay um with these two cards it's um how do i place it it's very important that you don't take anything for granted and probably this is going to be the whole um uh, the whole topic of the conversations what i mean is that let's say you start a relationship with someone and now beforehand you have performed very well you have been gentle romantic and all these kind of stuff now you started that relationship and kind of like you are dropping off in the performance you are not taking care of your makeup for example or of your dress things you become more lazy let's say okay and everybody is going to everybody who kind of cares for you and for that relationship is going to criticize you for that they will try to help you with it okay and even if you don't see anything wrong with what you are doing this isn't how everybody else sees it and the whole point of this reading here the whole point of september is to get the right perspective upon your life and upon your things as well and through that right perspective given to you through the criticism and the fruitful conversations of the people around you to set you off your right path. So the um, peripheral activities that you can go for here, that is going to be the tower card. So it's, um, it's a bit of a, a violent card into, in this case. It does uh, point that you can try to make drastic transformations into some fields of your life which aren't substantial, you know, they are not related with this one. But it's more like a uh, laying it off elsewhere no different than for example you do had a rough time at work and you are laying it off into your family being uh, uh being harsh with them you know giving them giving giving them a hard time and etc etc so uh these these are not a peripheral activities that you uh, that i can go for that i would advise you to go for they are only going to wreak havoc and and turmoil and chaos into your life so it is best that if you do have a rough time at your career or at your relationship and etc etc spend some time alone just to cool off you know just to kind of like have a a, a a taste of fresh air and then you know attend to your um, to your original daily routine the accompanied card here is going to be the four the formation is, is it is a active friends and um, <clears throat> it's like um doing stupid things really it's like um, just because you know you have a rough time into your career as everybody is criticizing you trying to see what the right thing to do is you know you outside of your career you do stupid things like drinking yourself to death you know or um, <clears throat> or sleeping with everybody and all these kind of stuff that are not solving your problem all right they are just making it even worse it's because you're wasting your time and uh, i'd say it, it create disorder it creates um it, it creates havoc in uh in your life so be more organized it is my uh it is my guidance here is my advice to you okay and do not try to make significant changes uh into the into those kind of areas into your life that depend entirely on you now the change is going to come around with these people with that support wherever you don't have any support to okay this is the thing that you shouldn't touch at all so the challenge that we do have that is going to be the um the hangman hangman here points that this month is going to be a simultaneously a breakthrough and as well a test of faith why 
because you will need to hold on to your horses and don't be impulsive until you don't see that there are, that there are other options available. As a matter of fact, everybody around you is, is trying to make you see that there are not just other options available, but better options available because the, the path that you are trying to do without those people with the hangman here on a challenging position it is very likely to turn to be a rather futile and a dead end thing all right so for that reason uh, if you are not agreed at the start at least hold on for a second and try to see the reason behind what those people were telling you you know the criticism from your boss the criticism from your supervisor for example you do perform it's something that me and my manager have all right or we had back in the days um, um when when i started doing tarot you know and i was start start uh, and i started doing these videos i was doing them and i and i send them to my manager and, she, and then my manager my, my my manager says they're they're no good you know you're too scattered and this kind of stuff and uh, what are you talking about i did my i did my best there all right i just did my best because back in the days I wasn't very used to make general readings because this isn't what Tarot is all about. Tarot is all about answering questions, you know. And although I had in my mind that I gave the best there, you know, it was no good for the reasons that those videos were, were was made for, right? And the same thing is what you're going to experience here. So you need to listen. Even though you have that sense that you did the best, and even though that may be true, best has different sides or kind of like have different shapes you need to change something and you can still give the best you got the accompanied card here is going to be the six of swords the formation it is a uh, passive neutrals so the whole thing may looks like an impression that you need to sacrifice a lot you know and it's going to be a very difficult thing to do to kind of change your opinion to change your perspective this new way of how you're going to tackle with things or how you're going to approach your relationship and all these kind of stuff while in reality it's it is very very easy the only thing you gotta do is just you know resign about it just deal with it okay it's not even deal with it but let's say make peace with it and, and 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 accept that this is the right way how you have to do things and you are to see that in reality there is nothing that you have to sacrifice things are going to be just the same it's just you are going to become better in what you do the next one is going to be the positive aspect here and that is going to be the two of swords so virgo i don't know if your star sign is stubborn but this month you are going to uh, open your eyes for the maxima here that before one has to decide what to do, has to consider all points of view. And those points of view have been given to you for a very, very long time in such a milder fashion that those people that, was, that doesn't want to see you losing, failing or setting yourself in a trap, in a dead end situation, they have no choice but to criticize you okay, and to help you as well. So through that criticism, even though it may be a bit harsh to you, you are to see, like said, that you do have options available. Additionally to that, the Two of Swords here points that uh, uh, the more you contemplate, the more obvious the right decision is going to become to you. Okay, just do not be harsh, just do not force things, just as the hangman points it right do not force your decisions especially when your logic isn't talking about but your stubbornness is and uh, the the best thing here it is that you can live your month in peace should you not go for those hectic and, and irrational activities outside of the substantial enterprises into your life the accompanied card is going to be the Ace of Pentacles, the formation. It is the uh, active um, enemies that we do have here. So uh, the Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Swords, it's a very peculiar combination because the Ace of Pentacles does represent a, uh, an, an opportunity to further your goal, right? And an, uh, a time of content and a time of... Uh, of pleasure as well, success into business, uh, good relationships and etc, etc. It does represent wealth. 
and uh, as an active enemy is here into a positive position, you are to understand that your wealth or the wealth that you are trying to pull up, to pull out either love, either health, either a, a, a good job, you know, it doesn't have to be necessary. Uh, the same thing that you start chasing a couple of months ago. It can be something much more easier, it can be something much more productive, okay? I don't know if you're following the narrative here, guys, but it does look like that you can achieve a lot with less and you are going forward to achieving less with a lot. And those people doesn't want to see you going for it. They, 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 they just want to see you succeed. And for that reason, as they don't have any chance, uh, any, uh, not chance, but any option any longer, they have to be rather rude with you, criticizing you and, and giving you a hard time so you can wake up. Just, just wake up, okay? And the last one, that will be the two of wands. This is the guidance. So what the two of wands here points is, while you are sitting on well-developed skills and achievements, those things need to be improving, okay? You, you just need to start scoping the horizon for new lands to conquer, for new fields, you know, for new endeavors and etc. etc. Uh, the two of wands is no different than um, having a, a solid ground to step on, which is given to you by the current achievements you have, all right, and the support of those people, the uh, the different perspective as well that you are to obtain throughout the months. And now with this different perspective, you are to see that there are way more options available for in front of you than you than the options available you had when you entered the months. As a matter of fact, there are such an option available in front of you that it does not require anything uh, that uh, you have been prepared to spend. And this is the right path for you. Like I said, this criticism is going to set you off your right path or on your right path. The accompanied card is going to be the Tree of Swords formation. It is a um, active friends. And with these two, it is the harsh truth, right? It is the harsh truth that sometimes we can't have the thing the way we want it. We can't have, you know, something that we... Um, we anticipated the way we wanted it to have, but ultimately we can have the grand scheme of things. Meaning, you know, uh, we may not be able to be with the person we want, but we may, but, but we are to be able to be in a relationship and be loved. All right, we may not be able to be to to start working in a, the a specific company, okay? But we can start work what we want to work the way we want to work it. Not it just this company. So it's it's like accepting here the truth that sometimes, you know, victory demands sacrifice. And uh, sometimes we have to give up something or you Virgo have to give up something in this case, your stubbornness, you know, and your unyielding aim that is just going to make the things harder to you and decide in favor of the much more rational and easy path for it. Is it there going to be a bit of taste in your mouth that you have abandoned something you have placed in front of yourself? Yeah, probably for a couple of days, maybe for the entire month, but sooner or later, you know, at the end of the day, you were going to understand that it was um, it was for your own good. No different here, for example, now that I think of, guys, is that, um, that uh, let's say that you are in an abusive marriage, hoping that, uh, uh, it's not even hoping, but having that mindset that uh, divorce, it's... Um, it's against, you know, your rules, it's against your criteria, you know, it's against your code of conduct. Everybody else, it's criticizing you and it is, uh, uh, it is advising you, asking you how you can stay into this, in, into this, you know, how you can endure this, this either emotional or physical abuse or you name it. Um, I, my grandma is such a person that kind of despise um, divorce and my grandma, I have talked with her and she is uh, in the standpoint that you, you decide to go for it so you will have to endure it no matter what. No divorce, it's, uh, it's an option available for her, all right? I'm, I'm just saying about my grandma. But uh, the, the thing here is to understand that there is an option, even though you may not consider it. In this case, you know, divor divorcing, even though 
because some cultures are forbidding divorce just like some cultures are forbidding for example abortion all right so you go you go for divorce because otherwise you will end up in a dead end situation you will end up unhappy you will end up god forbid you know seriously hurt so you have to open your eyes for the different perspective that is the whole point here of the reading guys and it doesn't have to be an abusive marriage it applies for anything into our lives so that being said Virgo this was your weekly tarot reading it does look like a big decision is coming in front of you guys a um, you know, gigantic uh, actions are to be required something that uh, you may um, how, how do I place it uh, it will be a big um, it will be a big endeavor uh, for you because uh, for one or another reason you have to go against yourself but ultimately at the, at the end is for your own good and uh, I hope that at the end of the day you end up happy you know because that's the whole point of it so yeah that that being said this was your monthly tarot reading september 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh we are going to see each other around until then bye